You can support the channel on Patreon or being a YouTube member. Check out links in the description or click join. Dragon Ball, Pokemon, Kaiju, and more. It's Steven's Toy Reviews. Hey, hello there, collectors. Kaiju fans and horror fans alike, it's Steven here, and today I have something very fun for you. If you've been in different Facebook groups or even on some forums, you have definitely seen folks post this. Or even if you've been on Twitter, this has been getting retweeted pretty much everywhere that I've been looking. This is a very fun figure that just sort of popped out of nowhere. This is going to be technically the Marmot Audrey 2 from Little Shop of Horrors. That's right, the main guy behind Marmot sort of out of nowhere created this Audrey 2 figure, and it's now in existence, and folks have been getting their hands on it. Now, unfortunately, <laughs> by the time that this review comes out, turns out the last order window has closed. Yes. However, there are still some that are floating around for about the same cost as he was selling them directly for. And for some reason, it seems like there are two different versions, some saying that there are hand-painted, others that are factory-painted, but I've never seen this mentioned outside of one specific Facebook post, so take that as you will, it's out there in the air. Anyway, it's a marmot figure, Audrey 2, fits in with kaiju, fits in with horror, enough talking, enough of an intro, let's take a look to see whether or not it's worth adding to your collection. I don't know a whole lot about Little Shop of Horrors. <laughs> not huge big into it but i'm gonna say not only does this look great but hey you know kaiju fans by alante so horror fans uh, man-eating plant or woman-eating plant you know we're not judging here it wants bodies and then the original ending for little shop of horrors where the different plants crawl up buildings and they become planet eaters and then you know going off to other planets so hey it's all cool beans i mean it all works and especially here yes not only does the sculpt look amazing with the smaller details actually sort of resembling reptile scales which is really impressive not only do we have little thorns on all of the leaves which look great but we do also have the rainbow colored mouth which looks fantastic now i do have a little bit of a problem here and that is actually a legitimate one based on how this was kind of shipped unfortunately the top part of the mouth which is actually on a hinge we'll take a look at in a minute that was shipped separately in the box not attached and it did get bonked around a little bit so some of the teeth are a little scratched up aside from that the paint in the mouth is amazing and the blending of the paint looks great as well in some areas there's a little bit of an overspray and it's not the best but still that's if you really want to pick at the smallest of nits there and then my cat went ahead and did a little bit of a shake and you heard her bell I'm not going to edit that out because why? That was Shelly and everyone loves Shelly. Back to the figure. The rest of the paint on the figure does look very nice. Audrey's got those lips, which mwah, very great. Go ahead. Complain that I said Audrey and not Audrey too. Doesn't make a world of difference to me. The rest of the figure, green paint application is blended in perfectly with brown and as we move down the rest of the figure it actually doesn't transition sculpt wise into dirt for the pot of the plant but we do have brown paint there to simulate that effect it actually does have a different sculpted texture for the pot of audrey 2 here and it could have fooled me if he <laughs> would have said that this isn't an actual clay pot because uh, it's not it's vinyl pretty cool and underneath you have all of the copyright and the production, trademark, yada, 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 information. Very cool. So, in regards to looks, aside from stuff that just happened because stuff rubbed up against stuff and got damaged, looks fine. It's very impressive and looks marvelous. Now, interestingly enough, there are a few points of articulation. The tentacles on Audrey 2 here, or the roots depending on how you want to look at things, they all swivel. So, with all of them swiveling, I go ahead and I count them out here for you. Do take note that some of them will collide in with either other root, or they will just bump into the main body of the figure, so do keep that in mind. You don't want to scratch up the paint too much. Then, the bottom of the pot actually does swivel as well, where it would meet the top of the pot where Audrey 2 would be. The top of the head, like I said, the top part was a part 
it needed to be put together in the box. And aside from the first, I would say, four or five days that this was assembled, it was fine, and then it became loose, and it is very loose now. Also, interestingly enough, the head of the plant does swivel, so if you wanted to do that, you could do that as well. I would also keep in mind that if you go to open the mouth, it may collide and rub against the leaf right behind it, so you don't want to do that. So the articulation is not meant to be super duper action figure articulated, but hey, you do have some points. Now we'll go ahead and move on over to a size comparison where you can see this is a very large figure somewhere uh, in the usual marmot size range, anywhere between 8 to 10 inches. So yeah, yeah, you're going to need to clear some shelf space. Definitely height-wise, not necessarily so much width, unless you're going to have those vines sticking out. That's where it's going to be an issue. So buy now, skip, or wait for a deal. Yep, aftermarket prices are hitting in, and because it's a marmot figure and the general community surrounding that, <clears throat> um, this price is going to go up. So, if you can find it for a good price, let's say around 200, you're bang close to the, uh, the MSRP on that. But, it's good. It looks very good. It's impressive. A lot of folks are actually getting this and putting it outside with the rest of their potted plants or indoor with their potted plants. You kind of saw at the beginning where it actually blends in just fine. So it's kind of cool like as a joke figure. And then at the same time, if you're appreciative of Biolante and putting it in with Godzilla, hey, you have a great matchup there. Here it is with the Kokyo Kyo Godzilla. So, yep, generally speaking, this is fun. It's great to have, and uh, who knows, maybe some other company will go ahead and take a crack at Audrey 2, aside from Funko. Aside from Funko. Yeah, anyway, very good. Two thumbs up. Well, collectors, that brings us to the end of the video today, and I just wanted to take a second to thank you so much for watching. Now, you've heard a lot from me, I'd like to hear a little bit from you. Drop in the comments down below whether or not you liked it, you hated it, or maybe you were somewhere in between. I also want to take an extra second here for a nice, humongous thank you to all the patrons for SDR over the last month who have really helped the channel grow into what it can be today. So to all of you, two big thumbs up. Thank you very much. And now the end card should be popping up, which will give you a few clickable links, like maybe to subscribe or head on over to my Patreon, or some short URLs, like to my social media, or to my Teespring store. There's also a video I hand-selected for you, so if you want to watch another STR video, I hand-selected some good content for you to watch, so definitely check out that video. Thank you again so much for watching, and I'll catch you in the next video.